Thanks for joining me on my channel today. So today we're going to talk about how to go viral on YouTube. This I'm yet to discover. If you don't know me already, I'm a multi-genre author and my name is Kerry Kennedy. And I have various social media accounts, but I am looking to grow and expand my YouTube channel. So it says here that there are three or four tips that can help you go viral with YouTube. Now, I haven't tried these yet, and I've been doing a lot of research. This is quite a few weeks of research that I'm gonna be spouting on about in this vlog today. The first one says, create the title in the first two seconds of the video. If you don't, it can cause a lot of disconnect and people are gonna just come off your video and they're just gonna keep scrolling through until they find something that is gonna give them what they're looking for. So the first thing then is, you've got your thumbnail, you've got your title, and you should be opening your blog or your video with telling people and viewers and your audience what this is actually all about. So like I've already said at the beginning, this uh, blog is on top tips to help to grow your YouTube channel and to go viral. This I've got to see really because my experience is that when people are getting viral, whether it's on shorts or whether on their videos, they seem to have over 100,000 subscribers. And if you're like me and you are just um, a new author, I mean I've only been an author for the last two years, if you're a new author and you're trying to grow your audience, it's really hard. I mean, drop me some comments below, let me know what your experience is, but I'm stuck around about the 600 or just under 600 followers, and I am considering enlisting some help to help me grow my YouTube channel, and also my views. Now, my videos, I can have as little as five or six views on a vlog or on a video, and then I can have 270, 300, so there is no parity between this, and it doesn't seem that one works better than the other, because I've done travel vlogs that have taken me to nearly 300 views, which obviously is not viral, and then I've done some other ones that are similar, and uh, you know, I'm getting maybe 20 views if I'm lucky, so I'm quite intrigued to see if these steps that I'm going to read out to you are going to enhance my YouTube channel and make YouTube recognise me and start feeding me out into other people's feeds. It says, do a topic search to see how many views or other similar vlogs are getting to do this research. So, research, research, research. So I have done, like I said, an awful lot of research and I have looked at many, many um, videos and titles and everything else on how to grow your channel and how to go viral. I'm gonna say that I am not convinced. I think that if you have got 100,000 followers and YouTube obviously recognizes that, then it's just gonna give you lots of views on your video and it's gonna just be posting out to, to everybody and they're gonna see it and also your, all your subscribers. It says, study the other creator titles and what were the first three seconds of their video like. So most of their videos that I have looked at are a quick introduction and some don't even introduce themselves because they are assuming that you already know who that person is and they just go bang straight into the topic of the video, i.e. grow your YouTube channel and how to grow, go viral on YouTube. So those are the first two tips that I have come across. I don't know whether that's absolutely blinding or it's not. To me, it seems really quite obvious and I felt that I've been doing that with some of the blogs that I've been posting out. I haven't done some research on my reading and book blogs and my travel blogs. Hey ho, it hasn't actually made any of them go viral. Um, it needs to be the same or similar to what other creators are putting out there. So as an experiment, you will see from my title and my YouTube thumbnail that I have put how to go viral on YouTube. So let's see how this um, pans out. Another tip it says is don't be monitoring your vlog um, the next day or within 24 hours. Just let it sit and just let it do its own thing. And ordinarily YouTube can take 72 hours up to a week to start to push out your blog or your video. So I'm going to try very, very hard after I have produced this with my wizzy wazzy thumbnail that I've created to actually see what happens with this vlog and if it's actually going to push it out to people and if the algorithm is in fact going to like me. It says audience discovery, check out other content creators. Well I think as authors we've all done an awful lot of research into other content creators and what they are doing with books and again most of the people that I am seeing and I have researched who have got a phenomenal amount of um, likes or looks on their vlogs are people who have got well over 500 um, they've got something like a hundred thousand even followers and subscribers so it's really challenging when you are a very very small channel to grow and to get any of your 
vlogs and reels and shorts to be really way out there. I think the most I've ever had on a short was something like 2.1 thousand, which I mean that's really good, it's really really good because it was in the early days and for some reason the algorithm isn't really picking up on me very much at the moment. So I'm going to be putting out a series of vlogs over the next say three to four weeks to see which ones perform better than the others with eye-catching thumbnails and descriptions just to see if that makes any difference and obviously my content has to be relative because I'm not going to put out a thumbnail and a title and then not follow up, follow that up with actually the content that pertains to that. It says also drive traffic from outside of YouTube. Well, for all of you YouTubers out there like me that have got small accounts, I'm sure you're doing that already. I post my link once I've done my vlog to my Instagram, I post it to Twitter, I post it to Facebook, I post it to Pinterest. Um, I don't know where else I post it, but I post it pretty much everywhere. TikTok I'm across as well. So I am constantly posting it out. And I have to say that within the first 24 hours or the first few hours, I get quite a lot of interest. It's not viral. None of my videos are viral, but there is still hope if we follow all these rules. And then it says, um, push it out onto other social platforms. Well, you know what? We've already just covered that. I am sure that like most of you that are creating your content, you are posting out to other platforms that you are engaging on, like your Instagrams and TikToks, for example, and trying to drive everybody via the link to your YouTube channel. And that in itself is just, is really difficult because a lot of people just keep scrolling through anyway. But you know what, we'll see. And then it says, don't judge your video for the last seven days as it can take YouTube time to discover the relevant audience for your vlog. So I'd like to say I'm not gonna check within the <laughs> first three to seven days, but of course I will because that's what we do, isn't it? So we post something out and we want to see what the engagement is with it. And then it says titles. Do this to grow your YouTube channel. So by that, what they're saying is you should be researching what other top content creators on the channel, on the platform are doing and try to mimic them, copy them. I mean, obviously, sometimes we want to use our own words, but hey, look, you know, if you put into the search engine um, how to make my YouTube channel go viral or how to make my video on YouTube go viral, you're going to see pretty much the same thumbnails because they are pretty much standard. They might have changed their face for whoever they are doing it. But you're just going to see the same thing time and time and time again. And then the title is going to say, hey, grow your YouTube channel. This is how you can go viral on YouTube. So you don't really have to be uh, very creative in this. You can just choose something very, very similar and put it on there. And then uh, thumbnails as well. It says to check out thumbnails. Well, I've done some research on the thumbnail and I've posted up at the beginning of this video the thumbnail that pertains to grow your, grow your YouTube channel, make it go viral. So I just wanted to share um, this very briefly. I know it's only sort of a 10 minute vlog, but it has taken me quite a lot of research to hash through many, many content creators about going viral on YouTube and what they're posting out, how they're posting out and what their delivery is. This is not a fancy vlog. There are not going to go and be any pictures of big flash houses, of life-changing moments and big flash cars because all of a sudden you're going to go viral and you're going to get lots of money from YouTube. That's not what this vlog is about. This vlog is just a capsulation and a, um, a summary of all the extensive research that I have done on how you are supposed to be able to make your video go viral on YouTube. So let's see what happens. I, I don't know, give it a go, follow some of these little tips, which I will do a summary slide after my spiel. You will see some um, a summary slide of the things that I have discovered or I have researched. And let's all try this and see if we can at least somehow try to get noticed by YouTube and have a little bit more engagement, some more audience, and you know, hell, ho hopefully we may even grow our subscribers. I hope you find this useful. If you want to do any comments, please drop me some comments below. If there's anything else that you'd like me to cover on a future vlog, then I'm, I'm obviously happy to do that. And if it involves some research, by all means, sure, shoot me some comments down and I will do the research and create a little vlog for it.